Hello everybody and welcome to this part two of um, this tutorial um, on how video tutorial on how binary works. Um, once again, you can see we're back in Minecraft um, again because of how good it is at um, actually showing how this kind of stuff works in a visual sort of way. Um, and this week, um, this video, we're going to be looking at um, how these logic gates that we talked about in the last video actually come together to be actually useful in a computing sense. So over here we have this small um, redstone construction. It's yeah, it's um, actually quite simple for what it looks like. It is a basic calculator. It is an adding device that you can add two numbers together with. Um, and those two numbers are binary numbers, so we have two inputs, um, both of which take two bits. So the right hand number on each is um, whether there's a one or not, so switching that on means that there is a one in the number. And this and the left hand number, uh, re left hand input tells um, the computer whether, whether tells the calculator whether there is a two in a number or not, so switching on means there is. Um, so Let's have a look at, um, oh, we also have two, no, rather three inputs, um, outputs rather. We have a one output, a two output, if you can see that, and a four output. Now the reason why there are, um, there are three, um, there's enough um, lights for a three digit output is very similar to the reason why um, there are multiple output um, display things on a calculate, um, on a denary calculator. Um, so Take for example, if you add together two, um, three, um, two digit numbers. So, um, for example, sixty and forty, adding those two together creates a hundred, which is a three digit number. So, adding together those two numbers on a calculator that can only take two digits in each slot would actually just create the result of zero, which isn't overly helpful. So that's why there are three outputs, um, but two. Um, two bit inputs. So, um, okay, let's have a look at what happens. So, switch on this one. The output, um, the number one output output light turns on. That's because um, this value here is equal to one plus zero plus zero plus zero, which is one. So, um, so if I then add another one. The two lights, number two lights up, because um, zero. This value would have a value of zero. This one would have a value of one, zero, one. So therefore, zero plus one plus zero plus one is two. Equally, I could turn off these two and turn on just a two, because two plus um, two plus zero plus zero plus zero makes two. Okay. Um, let's have a look at, um, yeah, if I get, if I, oh, don't want to do that, if I then turn on this one, you get the result of three, because two, two plus one is the same as two plus one, which is three, so, yeah, and then if I add another, um, one, the number four lights up, um, and then finally, let's just, Put them all on, and we have the result of six because the number four lights are turned on, number two lights is turned on, and the number one has light has not turned on rather. So that's the same as um, two plus four equals two plus one plus two plus one. So that's just basically three plus three um, is um, six. Um, so how this output will be represented in binary would be the numbers. It will be one one zero in that order from left to right so okay moving over here this this is how it works basically over here i have a smaller version of what this does it only takes two one bit inputs um similarly if i turn this on um a light turns on so you have number one output over here and then number two output over here um so if I turn this one on, let's follow where the charge goes. So first of all, the charge goes through here and over this bridge 
um, and into this OR gate. This OR gate will only um, produce a value of 1 when both um, when either of the inputs are turned on. That then goes into a final AND gate, um, which um, I'll come back to in a moment. It also goes forward in goes right um, goes to the right into a AND gate, which I'll also come back to in a moment once I finish the other talk about the other input. And it then goes also into this NAND gate. Now we talked about NAND gate NAND gates in the other video. Um, and basically, this NAND, um, NAND gates will only produce a value of zero when both inputs are off, or on. Uh, both produce, only will produce a zero when both values are on. So as you can see, only one of them is on, so therefore the output is one. So let's. Oh, where am I going? Sorry. Let's fire them running back over here. And this one on, off again, and this one on. The charge from this one goes over and into this AND gate over here. It also goes into the OR gate, which produces a ON value. It also, and finally, it goes into the NAND gate, producing a value of 1. Now, this um, AND gate here takes the value of the NAND gate and the OR gate, and, and if they're both ON, um, the light turn, the output is ON. Okay? However, if I turn this um, this second light on as well, you can see here that this light has turned on, and that's first, um, and this one has turned off. This one's turned off because both of these uh, inputs are on, so therefore this NAND gate output is zero, meaning that this NAND AND gate cannot have an um, output of one as well. Instead, because both of these inputs are on, and they both go into this AND gate, the output of this AND gate is 1, turning this light on as a um, sort of remainder. So, in this in the calculator over here, I actually have um, three of these modules, all of which plug into each other very nicely. This one on the first, um, on the ground layer, um, takes the values of um, the the two one values, so the um, rightmost rightmost digit of each binary number, and it adds them together, and then outputs the result of adding them together. So in this case, because it's two plus two, the NAND gate doesn't work. Um, outputs a zero rather, and the remainder is carried upstairs to this back. Um, back add mod adding module, which I'll come to in a moment. This adding module directly above the one downstairs takes the two two values, so the left um, left digits of both ones and add them together. And that um, how um, and as you can see this produces a zero here because they're both on and sends the remainder upstairs to this light over here which turns on. However as you can see um, the two light is on, and that's because the remainder from downstairs is taken up and added to the result of um, the two um, of the two um, the second digit um, digits um, being added together. So zero plus one from downstairs creates one, and that value is passed through this AND gate. Um, up, um, upstairs and through the roof upstairs so yeah um, yes so that's how that works um, what I find amazing though is the fact that in a computer there will be billions of these um, modules so it's like most modern computers are 64-bit which would mean there'll be if I had to build this in mine that in Minecraft there'll be this bottom layer then 63 more of this layer, all on top of each other, with then this light on top, like this. And that's just astounding to me because all of those, all of that ad adding capacity actually fits in the size probably smaller than the eye of a needle, which is just immense. Each of these modules is microscopic. So, also the adding function is key. To every other algorithm, um, every other 
um, function, mathematical function you can do in a computer. So, for example, um, with timesing, there is no way of combining AND gates and OR gates in a simple way like this, because this is actually quite simple, to times two numbers together. Instead, you would take the two numbers and, um, so in this case, we've got three and three, let's say this was times in the middle instead of add, and that would times two numbers together, but instead it would add three to itself three times, so it'd be three plus three plus three, which of course has the same result. It'll be like um, how we're taught how timesing works um, at primary school in the very first year of primary school. So yes, that is how that works. This is how logic gates will work together, I think. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and give it a thumbs up and um, hit that subscribe button. If you really enjoyed it or can think of somebody who would enjoy it, um, share it to your heart's content. Thank you very much.